Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Winslow, New Jersey. And the reason why we are in Winslow, New Jersey today is to take a look at something pretty amazing that I've been wanting to see with my own eyes for a very, very long time now. But for whatever reason, I just, I've never really driven down this road to, to take a look at this, even though it's not too far off my regular beaten path on the way to and from the Jersey Shore. Just for whatever reason, I've never actually bothered to get off that beaten path and to take a look at this. So now that I'm on my way back home from the Jersey Shore, coming back home from Brigantine Beach, I figured today was a day where I took the road less traveled. I went the long way home to see what it is we're going to see today. I am pretty excited about this. You guys know how much I love the weird and the bizarre and just weird roadside oddities and weird roadside attractions. And today we're going to take a look at one that I'm very, very excited about here at Mr. Bill's Richmond's Ice Cream and Burger Company since 1894. Now I'm not entirely sure why there's two names, why it's Mr. Bill's and Richmond's. I don't really know the, uh, the history behind that. I tried doing some research online, could not find a definitive answer as to why there's two names to this ice cream and burger joint. But from what I could actually gather online, this was Mr. Bill's for at least 50 years. I saw some write up saying that Mr. Bill's had been around for 50 years. And some photos I actually saw of this from back in the day, it was just called Mr. Bill's. No Richmond's attached to the name. It was just Mr. Bill's ice cream stand here in Winslow. New Jersey. So from what I could gather, this had been Mr. Bill's, no Richmond's, just Mr. Bill's for about 50 years. And then they actually did go out of business. And I think, again, if I'm not mistaken, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong about this. I'm not trying to give out wrong information, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But I do believe Richmond's then bought the property and reopened the ice cream stands. So now it's Mr. Bill's Richmond's Ice Cream and Burger Company. But that does beg the question, has Mr. Bill's been around since 1894? Has this establishment been around since 1894? Or has Richmond's Ice Cream and Burger Company been around since 1894? I'm not entirely sure on the answer. If you guys know, leave your comments down below. Either way, I'm pretty excited to be here. I'm actually really, really hungry. Had some lunch a little while ago, but now it's dinner time and I am starving. I'm thinking I might need to get myself a burger or a hot dog. Definitely some ice cream. I'm thinking some mint chocolate chip would be pretty good right now. Maybe uh, I know I shouldn't be drinking it, but probably a Coke. I'm thinking I could go for a, I go for some delicious sugar water right now. I need some, I need some caffeinated sugar water at the moment. I want, I want a Coca Cola. And this looks like the kind of place that might do traditional vanilla cokes, or at least a Coke float. So maybe, maybe a traditional vanilla Coke, or maybe a vanilla Coke float. I'll get from here. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna show my patronage. I'm gonna get some food. I am starving. So, pretty awesome, Mr. Bill's, Richmond's ice cream and burger company since 1894. But the reason why we're out here today isn't actually to take a look at the burger stand itself. It's to take a look at what sits in the parking lot of the burger stand because this is pretty amazing. Like I said, I've known about this for a while now. I've been wanting to come out here and see this and to document this and to show this to you guys. But just like I said, for whatever reason, I never actually just went off the beaten path, never took the long way home. But today I figured is the day we finally we finally get to see this. We finally get to take the long way home and to see what it is we're going to take a look at today. This is pretty amazing. And yes, I am looking up at it because this is like three stories tall. This is awesome. This is amazing. Again, you guys know how much I love this kind of thing. Check out the Al Alfred E. Newman Happy Halfwit Muffler Man. Look at that. How amazing is that? I love this sort of thing. This is actually the second happy halfwit Alfred E. Newman muffler man I've taken you guys to see. There's one of these not too far away from my house. It originally stood, I believe, on the boardwalk of I think it was Seaside Heights. It was damaged by Hurricane Sandy. A local company by my house then bought the statue, fixed it up, repaired it, repainted it, and now it sits outside of their establishment. This one here, I don't know how long this one's been here, but it's been here for a good long time while and this is really cool it's actually gone through a couple different paint schemes over the years from photos i saw he had more of a kind of like a blue jeans sort of blue like blue jeans overalls sort of look going on his shirt was painted yellow everybody called him the hillbilly that's what the that's what the locals were calling him the hillbilly and to be honest he kind of looked a little bit like a hillbilly now i don't know kind of maybe more like a soda jerk pretty awesome pretty cool the alfred e newman happy halfwit muffler man so as I've told you guys before, calling these a muffler man is kind of misleading. It's not, it's not absolutely, absolutely correct because the original mold for these were actually for Paul Bunyan's. That's why he's, 
he's holding his hands why he's so big and that's why he's holding his hands kind of like this and like this originally these held axes big giant axes because these were paul bunyan statues but over the decades over the years a lot of garages they would buy these they'd put them outside of their establishment and they'd have them hold mufflers and as such the name muffler man kind of stuck for these guys but like i said the original design of these, the original reason for these existing were as giant Paul Bunyan statues. And now one sits outside here. This is awesome. Of Mr. Bill's Rich Ben's Ice Cream and Burger Company beckoning people in to get their ice cream, to get their, their hot dog. Is that a hot dog or is that a hamburger? I don't know. What, what, what do you think that is? Is that a hot? It's, it's a, it's, I don't know. I think that's, maybe it's a hamburger. That's either a hot dog or a hamburger. I'm going, I'm going to go with hamburger, cheeseburger, right? Comments down below, what do you think? Hot dog or hamburger? But either way, beckoning people in off the highway to stop in, get some ice cream, get a float, get a, get a milkshake, get a hot dog, get a hamburger, get some delicious food here at Mr. Bill's Richmond's in Winslow, New Jersey. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Like I said, I've been wanting to show this off to you guys for a while now. I've known about this for a while now. Today's a day where I finally got to see this with my own eyes and document this and show this to you guys. Pretty cool. So if you've ever actually ever been out here to Mr. Bill's Richmond's, leave your comments down below. Let me know about your, your time out here. What kind of food did you get? Do you come out here often? Do you get ice cream? Is it delicious? I'm gonna find out if it's delicious. I'm very much looking forward to getting something to eat. I am starving. I could really go for some food right now. And I could definitely go for some ice cream. It's a little warm today. It's a nice breeze blowing, which feels pretty good. But honestly, the heat has me wanting some, some ice cream right now. And I'm thinking some mint chocolate chip would sound pretty good at this moment definitely gonna get some of that so again if you guys have been out here leave your comments down below if you're from the area and maybe you remember this being just mr bills you remember the old paint scheme where he was painted blue and yellow definitely leave your comments down below and if you know more of the history of mr bills slash richmond's let me know like i said leave your comments down below i want to hear your stories pretty awesome i cannot wait to get something to eat i'm just starving and the fact that i get to actually eat my food in the shadow of a giant happy half-wit muffler man is too awesome and too amazing and i am pretty pumped and i'm pretty excited to actually be out here seeing this guy with my own eyes so all right guys this is too neat so like i said if you've been out here leave your comments down below look at that mr bills right there on his, his little name tag it says richmond's on his hat i personally love the paint scheme he kind of has like i said sort of a soda jerk kind of like look going on right now that is awesome and i'm just happy this still exists a lot of these sort of fall into disrepair over time they they don't get the love and care and tlc they need and they deserve especially when a place goes out of business i mean again this place did go out of business for a little bit and the fact that the richmond company or whoever came along if that's if that's the case again i could be wrong about that information but if the richmond company or whoever came along they bought this place out they reopened the establishment and the fact that they actually like repaired this, put some TLC and some love and some care into the muffler man, gave him a new paint job and made him shine is pretty awesome. I love the fact that this did not find itself in, in a landfill or just falling into disrepair or falling down or being bought by somebody else. I love the fact that it's still here, still on the side of the road and beckoning people in to get some delicious food some delicious ice cream but all right guys i'm gonna let you guys go now i'm gonna go get some delicious food i'm gonna go go get some delicious ice cream i am starving so as always thank you all so much for checking out this video be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button check down below for links to patreon if you guys do become a patron i will send you a postcard every single month from the road also check down below for a link to spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest up t-shirts proceeds both from the spreadshirt and from patreon you can help supporting the show keeping the show going and bringing us out to awesome places like this to see amazing things like Alfred E. Newman, Happy Halflet, Muffler Men here in Winslow, New Jersey. Pretty awesome. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below, check down below for all the different links. And if you hit that like button and you hit that, I can't even talk. I am, I need something. I need some, I need some ice cream. I need some soda. So check down below again for all the different links. And if you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. But what should today's hashtag be? Hashtag, I don't know, I'm thinking, hashtag, this is too, hashtag Mr. Bills. If you watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag Mr. Bills. And also leave your comments down below if you've ever been out here to this establishment and enjoyed the food out here. And if you ever got your photo taken with 
the Alfred E. Newman Happy Half Wit. Definitely leave your comments down below. I'm gonna get my photo now with the Happy Half Wit. So, all right, guys, again, that's it. Thanks for watching. Guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.